Hey, orange one here. So this is another pre-recorded game of me doing uh, some multiplayer. I'm not doing this one with uh, my brother. This is just me trying to survive playing as uh, the Batanians against, I think, the Vlandians. Oh, wow. And that's against Higik1, who, if you've seen other videos of mine, he's pretty good. He seems to be on a lot. But... Now I'm not able to line up any shots in my little hidey hole. I don't know, I feel like I got cheated out of that one. And that one too. That one should have been a hit. Yeah, there we go. I'm contributing. I did something, guys. Nice. Team member got the kill though, and I did not get the assist. I don't understand why you get the assist sometimes and not other times. If the game's just kind of lagging and not detecting it, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I got 51 damage, and these two bozos seem to have gotten the idea that that they can attack me. But we've got some good melee allies right now, so I'm happy in my little hidey hole. <laughs> I actually, it's probably been like a week or more since I played this, so I don't remember any of the gameplay, so I'm watching this like you having no idea what's going to happen, for the most part. I do remember parts of it. Yeah, this dude's not going to last long, I don't think. Yeah, he's actually doing really good. Nice. He's, he's expecting me to land a shot, and I'm just not, because I'm terrible. <laughs> See, if I had given that guy good cover, then he probably would have beat the other guy. Besides, there's that pig one, dude. So maybe not. See, dude's good. We do actually have Bark on our team, though, who, if I remember correctly, is not half bad himself either. Okay, we did nine whole damage. That's right. Now there's three of them against us. Oh, 71 damage. Yeah, that's not a good situation. That's a uh, get out of there. For sure. Let the archer get a couple shots off. Give him some cover. But it was not enough. <laughs> the archer, I think, did get one of them, though. Which I'm not sure which one it was, but... I think we got a little bit of damage on one or two of them. Maybe it was the one that we got the 71 damage on. I don't think that it would give us the assist for 9 damage, you know? Oh man, I'm so excited for this game. I like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm just like dying. I like, seriously, for the last couple weeks, this game has been all I can think of in terms of gaming, at least. Yeah, and I do realize that I could have blocked to up or down and blocked the spear, but... Yep. <laughs> One of those things, huh? You're like, oh, it's a little late now. Now that's a week later. I think as soon as I'm done putting commentary on this, I'm going to go play some more. <laughs> I wish I could play more with my brother. I, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, but it's hard because because my internet's not great. It's pretty laggy. And so... I've been just uploading the highlights where it's the least laggy, and I tried to record with him, and it's just like, dude, I can't, can't do this right now. <laughs> like the internet's just not, not on our side. Like we were able to get like I think a first game in, and then after that, I, I, my ping was like nearly two hundred. It's like, uh, nope, I'm not, <laughs> not gonna do that. We are applying some pressure, making that dude keep his guard up. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. I'm contributing, you know? This dude, we should be able to... Hey, I got a hit. <laughs> I'm contributing, guys. Two blocks. Ooh. Almost. Dude's almost out of arrows. I like how... I didn't realize that you could see how many arrows your archer has left when you're looking at them in that view. Kind of cool.
Ooh. Almost. I feel like I'm gonna get him eventually. But I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just like not landing any hits. Ooh. I swear that guy was about to kill me. That ally of mine came in pretty clutch. Hey! I got a horse. Got that horse real good, actually. And 200 damage on something's not anything to laugh at. But I don't think I got the assist for that guy dying. So I'm pretty sure when I've done damage to the horse before, I've gotten assists. Oh, man. I think I, I just need to get a better idea for what the distance is, really, that I'm dealing with. I have seen people just destroy with spears, but I just can't seem to get the distance quite right on them. Yeah, horse is shouldn't come anywhere near me. <laughs> I did four damage. Yeah, I swear I cannot line up my momentum to get a hit. There we go. Again, no assist. Hey, I did get a kill there. Actually did a decent amount of damage too. Hey, another one there too. I really should be trying to kick him if he's getting that close. Oh, man, that right there, that was actually pretty good. I think I got two kills with the spear as well as a couple assists, even though they didn't get counted. Okay, that dude's, yeah, <laughs> not looking too hot. There we go. And some more hits. Yeah, it actually, it looks like I am starting to get a hang of this thing. Which is, you know, realistically, that, that is the smart thing to do in a battle, is be the guy with the spear. And stand behind other people and just, you know... A little stabby stabby with your pointy stick, right? <laughs> Come on. And it, as much as I enjoy this, man, I'm, I don't know about you all, but I'm so excited for the single player, like the overmap stuff. That's going to be good. Oh, 250 damages and a block. Okay. It had to end eventually. It had to. It was time. <laughs> Now I'm remembering why I saved this recording. I mean, that was pretty good. Good couple shots off. I don't think I hit these guys. It's a shame. But we do have a Fian, which is not a half bad sword. That dude thinks he's coming in for the kill, but little does he know. I think actually, I haven't used the Fian very much because I don't get enough kills to get to that level tier super often and when I do the horseback just seems to make more sense for me personally but I have heard a lot of people say that this unit is incredibly overpowered I mean I don't know I don't understand how with all that heavy armor I mean it does have the ability to pull out a bow in close combat and provide that support which is Okay, yeah, maybe this is why, because you can just do like this, and it actually pierces in armor pretty well, too. And we got these guys coming in. Oh, should have hit him. Okay, he's down. Yeah, and I'm loving the amount of arrows that the Fian has as well. That's a, that is plenty right now. I think I'm out on the extra large quiver though, which always I love in this game because more arrows means more chances, right? I need to get a feel for the speed of everything though. That I feel like I'm still lacking is the relative velocities of all the uh, characters and, and arrows and javelins and all that stuff. And you know, eventually that stuff just clicks and it just falls into place and you just get a ton of really good um, hits. I think that's easier though with the AI because that's much more of a, pro a program thing. Whereas with, uh, 
with humans, you gotta be a lot more predict predictive into what they're gonna try and do next. Right? Like, this dude's obviously gonna sh try and block with his shield, but besides from that, Oh, that guy thought he had me. I heard him. I heard him lunging with a spear. You hear him, this raw, his little roar. Which is, you know, something that I'm actually fascinated by is how people yell out when they try and strike. You know, it's like a weird animalistic, like, intimidation thing. Okay, that dude just quit teams, I'm pretty sure. Maybe he got speared by someone, but I'm pretty sure that he just killed himself, you know? Okay, this guy's about to come back. See what I mean? You gotta strategize. You gotta know who's gonna be coming out where and where they're gonna be coming out from and trying to cut them off. This dude's trying to get me. And he did. Actually, he did. And so now we got two of them who think that they can pick on me. Well, guess what? They can, because they only needed to do, I think, one damage there, and it killed me. <laughs> I was actually extremely lucky to even be alive at that point. That was kind of funny. Man, when you have one HP, what do you really look like, you know? I want to see some one HP memes. I just realized that we're in, like, a little pottery barn. I should be wearing Link's hat, you know? I don't think the pottery is smashable, though. That's the one problem. Now, these horses are being just a royal pain right now. But you can hear them. And if you can hear them, you can take shots at them. Though, you're not always going to hit. <laughs> but, yeah, it sounds like someone's coming in behind him, maybe. Yeah, there's some horse around here. Oh, did not get that. Oh, I think I remember this. No. Oh, never mind. Did get a hit in there. Yeah, <laughs> tough luck there, buddy. Ooh. Whoa. Got two assists there. In the a pottery barn. <laughs> I really should be just getting in there. And helping the dude out. But it looks like... I think he handled it, but I wasn't sure if it was him or the enemy. I'm getting... If I'm completely honest, pretty sick of this map. Like, I've played this map probably for like a month straight now. Um, I don't know if it's the only one for custom battles, but that's the mode that I've grown comfortable with. And I know I really should be playing captain mode. Because Captain Mode's going to give me more of the strategic map. Ooh. I kind of want to just get my combat down because the strategic part's easy. I mean, it's just going to take no time at all to learn how to do that. Okay, Reginald, I'm pretty sure, just killed himself again. I think he might need a talk or something. I'm not sure what's going on with him. If he's just not liking the weapons that he's getting. He might just be playing around with the weapons. That is also possible. Man, I wonder if anyone in these uh, videos ever watches them. Uh, probably not, because I feel like the people watching these multiplayer games are people who don't have access to the multiplayer, you know? Like, why would someone who, is, who can play it watch someone else play it? I mean, maybe you could do that at, like lunch or something. I've done that myself. I've been checking out a couple people at lunch looking at what they do. And some of their strategies too as well. It's pretty interesting seeing how some people use uh, like the first person perspective, you know? Yeah, there's a number of them right there. We should have hit one of them though. Oh, nope. No, didn't even get a chance there with the Fian. I thought I had him. I thought I might get a chance, but didn't happen.
That's okay, though. That is perfectly okay. Yeah, so, like, I think... You know what would be really interesting is I feel like, and I could be wrong, but I feel like these items that they, or these locations that they have as maps are going to be um, locations in the actual game. And I'm curious as to where this will be in the actual game. Ooh, that guy went for a little bash there. Oh, these guys are trying to double team. Not going to happen. I'm just going to chip away at your armor. You may have chainmail. But I'm, I'm quicker for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Man. Come on. Okay, they got me. <laughs> that was a pretty... I am, I'm pretty proud of that. That was a good stand. With my favorite sword. Oh, that was really dumb of me. I just charged in there right into his sword. <laughs> oh, the horseback. That crossbowman needs to go. Yeah, he's gonna be a pain. But he's just gonna... He's got actually good cover. Ooh, getting a little laggy on me. Yeah, I think also I've been learning a little bit more about the exact uh, swing speed and um, a couple other things. And so I think I'm looking back at things and be like, man, you released right at the wrong time. Or if you'd just taken one step to the left, that connection would have been better, you know? It's always, always when you look at things in hindsight, you know? <laughs> I think I was just talking about it earlier. Let me know what you guys want to see in other Bannerlord videos. Like, I'm also trying to get a gauge of what people want to see. Like, do you want to see more of this? Just, like, free-for-all? Or do you want to see, like, a particular faction? Like, what... I can't pick factions, unfortunately. But I'd be happy to uh, try and get some games with a faction that hasn't been given as much attention. Because I feel like like Batania and Vlandia have been just like on this map constantly. I feel like it's always them. And then maybe the Sari or like the Kuzate occasionally. There we go. Finally landing a hit. I just love these little hidey holes that you can find in this map. There's so many good ones. But I would like to find other hidey holes in other maps. See, this first person perspective really does zoom it in a lot, but you have to actually hit. And I think I'm just maybe a little too far away. Oh, we hit the horseman. I think we might have saved his life there. Horseman might be coming back. No, doesn't look like it. Crazy the siege effects there in the background over there. Like fireballs in the air. <laughs> it does look like we're getting near the end of this match. I, uh, it looks like I'm about to die, yeah. Okay, well, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this because I'm enjoying playing the beta. And I'm looking forward so much to the actual single player. And I'm really hoping y'all join me for that. Because, I mean, this... The combat's good, but I'm hoping to show off other aspects of the game, mostly. Oh, I did get one more kill. Wow. Yay! Okay, well, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.